and welcome to another episode of VPMS Tech Talk. I'm Joanne Laflamme. And I'm Chris Costa. So Chris, what are we going to talk about today? Well, we've had a few calls from customers questioning uh, how to set up templates, how to use templates. I thought maybe we could run through that. Sure, that's a great topic. Okay. First, let's talk about the different types of templates in mm -hmm. Enterprise. Sure. You basically have three types. You have your default template, which every time you add a component, that's what gets loaded in and that can be customized. Mm -hmm. You have component level templates, so when you add a new component, that's, you can select a template at that level and it will bring in component level information. Right. You also have multi-component templates. You can select at the order or estimate header level and it can bring in header information and one or more components as well. Okay, makes sense. Okay. Um, can we start maybe with how to create a default template? Sure, that'd be great. So let's come over here to Enterprise and we're going to go into Estimating Order Entry. And what to create a default template, you would just click on Add, and you can be in either Work in Process or in Estimates. It doesn't matter. And I don't need to worry about anything at the header level, so I'm just going to go over to the component and click on Add. And I'm going to start with SheetFed. You will have to create default templates for each of the component types. So we'll start with SheetFed. I'll click OK here. And as soon as I hit OK, my current default template is loaded. Now, in this default template, I have a quantity of one. In my layout ink and paper page, I've got my sides and signatures and information up here. I've got my sizes here that I want in my default. And I could add inks or processes if I wanted to in the default template. Right, right. So say in my case, I just want to make a change to this default template, and I want to change my markups. So I'm going to click on markups, and say I want a production markup of instead of 30, I want to do 35% type that in and copy it down. Maybe my material I want 35%. And I can copy that down and then say I'll do 20% for my stock. So I'm changing my markups here and now I want to save that as my default template. Right. Once I've made all the changes I want, click on the template button at the bottom of the screen and all I have to do to save it as the default template is click on the drop down next to template type and choose default template. And you'll notice under the template ID, it automatically puts in the name sheetfed-default. Mm -hmm. So it's going to save this as the default sheetfed template. I click OK. It tells me it already exists. I click on Yes. And I'm done. Now, when I get out of here and I say I'm going to add a brand new sheetfed template, I click on Add, select sheetfed, and it will bring in a new template with my new markups. Okay. All right, that yeah. all makes sense. Now, remember that you have to do that for each component type. You'll need to mm -hmm. do it for digital, sheet fed, flexo, anything you want to change. Okay, all right, sure. Okay. All right, um, how about a component template now? Sure, let's take a look at that. Actually, before we start talking about component level templates, let's talk a minute about um, t template categories, because those need mm -hmm. to be set up first. Okay. Before you create any kind of a template, you should set up your template categories, which are just like material categories, Mm -hmm. um, it'll enable the people using the system to be able to search and sort through the templates a lot easier rather than having to search through one entire list of all your templates. Right, right. They can look at them through the categories. Sure. So let's go there. Okay. So I'm going to get out of estimating order entry and we're going to go into standards file maintenance. So I'll click on file maintenance, we'll go to the file menu and choose template categories. So I've already got several template categories in this particular database and you can break them out however you want. I've got some for business cards, envelopes, flyers, etc. I'm going to add one for booklets. So I click on add and all it needs for a template category is a five character alphanumeric code and then a description. So I'll make one for booklets so we'll call that one BKLTS will be my code and my description will be booklets and I'll click OK. And now I've got my new category. So you want to set all of these up first. Then when you go to create the template, you'll be able to choose the category you want to assign it to. Mm -hmm. So let's go into Estimating Order Entry. Now to create a temp uh, component level template, again you would click on Add like you're adding a new estimate or order, it doesn't matter. You would click on Add to add a component. And when you do create the templates, they're going to be specific to the component type. So you'll have some, if you create one for sheet fed, you have to be in a sheet fed component to use it. If you create one for digital, you have to be in a digital component to use it. Okay, makes sense. So I click on OK, and I can build my template just like I would any other estimate or order. 
Another way to do it, a little faster way, would be if you already have an estimate or an order built that has the information you want for the template, you can create it from an existing estimate or order. So say I want to do a template for business cards. I can open up an existing estimate or order. I can edit the component, make any changes I need to make in the layout or processes tabs. And I would recommend that you put the quantity of, of one for the component purposes. Mm -hmm. And then you would click on the template button at the bottom of the screen to save this as a template. You would give it a template ID. I'm going to call this BC for business card and then 2C for a two color. It brings in my description from the component and I can add two color here if I want as well, change the description. I can assign it a category code here from the categories I made, so I'll assign this business card. I can leave it at no price grid, which will make this component uh, price out at whatever materials and processes I have in the component. Or I can choose a price grid type. I can use estimates, quick order entry, or both if I have quick order entry. And then I can build a price grid down here if I want to sell this product based on a price grid. Once I've filled out the information, I click OK, and my template's saved. Now to use this template, I can go into a brand new estimate or order, fill out my header information, click on add to add a component, and then I can select from the drop down next to template, I highlight my category and I see the template I just created and then I can select it. And it's going to bring in all the information in the template and all I have to do is enter my quad quantity. That makes it a lot easier for users. Sure to be able to um, create estimates and orders right. from selected yeah, templates a yeah. lot faster. Um, if you want to make a change to that template once you've created, there's two ways to do it. Mm -hmm. You can come in here after you select the template, make your changes, click on the template button at the bottom of the screen, and just click the OK button to resave it. Or if you come back out to the list of estimates and orders screen here, go up to File and choose Templates. You'll be able to see it here under the category you that you highlight. You'll be able to see your template, select it, edit it. You can make any changes to the header screen here. And by clicking on component, make any changes to the component. Okay. Now, this will only be, in this list here, only be component level templates, mm -hmm. not multi-component templates. Okay. Now, creating a multi-component template, using it, is it a lot different than It's very similar. Template? Let's take a look at that. Okay. I'm going to cancel here. Again, I'm going to click on Add, and I can do it by going into a brand new estimate or order, building the header information, clicking on Add and adding component information. And then once I have it built, I can click on Save Template and save the, the estimate or order as a template. Again, an easier way is if I already have a job, like I have a handbook job here that maybe I do quite often and I want to make a template out of it, I can go to that job, edit it, make any changes in the header information or in the component information that I would want to make for the template. Like I may want to come in and make the quantities at one in each of the components. Once I've made those changes, I can then click on the te Save Template button on the header level. Again, enter a code. I'll call this Handbook for my template select the category code, and I'll put that under the new booklets uh, category I created. Mm -hmm. I can enter a detailed description if I want, and this will populate in the detailed description on the uh, header screen. And there's a couple other options. I can assign it to a customer account. I can also save the user-defined fields from the order header, so if I've made some choices on user-defined fields, I can save those choices in the template itself, and then click OK. Okay. Now to use this, once I've saved it, if I go to add a new order, I can come up to the template code drop down on the header level, go to my category, select my template, and it will bring in the header information along with my user defined field and the components. And all I have to do is go in and change the quantities and then the order's done. Okay, perfect. I think that all makes sense. Yeah. Do you have any other questions on how to do templates? No, I think that was very good. Well, thank okay. you. Sure, thank you. 
And thank you for joining us for another episode of EPMS Tech Talk. I'm Joanne LaFlamme. And I'm Chris Costa. Please stay tuned for more to come. Bye.